What's up everybody? Today we're going to be tying a jig that mimics a golden shiner. So for this jig, I like to use a 1 16th ounce minnow jig head. This one in particular has a size 6 hook. I powder painted that with a base coat of Protec Disco Gold. And then on the bottom I put some Blaze Orange and on the top I put some black. And then I put a 3mm 3D gold eye on there. For the thread on this one, I like to use an orange UTC Ultra Thread 70 denier. We're just going to start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. And for the tail on this, we're going to use a single cream marabou feather. We're just going to run our fingers up the feather from the base toward the tips to straighten that out. And we're going to measure it so that it's about the length of the hook. So we're just going to pinch that on there. Make sure you pinch it nice and tight and then get a few tight thread wraps so that it doesn't spin around. And once you get a few wraps you can secure that the rest of the way. So we're just going to wrap this up to the head, keep it tight. And once you get that up to the head you can clip the butt end. I like to twist it so you can get a closer cut. There we go. And then you can see all those fluffies left behind, so we're just going to go over those with our thread. Just tame those down a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, we're just cleaning it up a bit. So just pull those fibers back if you need to, and bring your thread back down to the tail, and then back up to the head. To add some flash to the tail, I'm going to be using this gold crystal flash. Just a couple fibers. So I'm just going to fold that over a few times and pinch it in right there on the side of the tail. And we're going to tie it down to the tail. Make sure you hold it in place so that it doesn't move around. And then you can grab the other side and tie those down on the opposite side of the jig. Again, just keep those straight on the side. And then bring your thread back up to the head again. And now we can trim those to length, we're just going to cut them right past the tail. Okay, then for the body we're going to be using two chenilles. For the top chenille we're going to be using this black copper gold. So we're just going to take a piece of that and fold it over so that it's doubled up. Then we're going to tie it in. I like to strip a few of the fibers so that you're tying in just the core of that chenille. We're going to tie that at the head and then pull the chenille so that the bulk of it starts right at the tail. This will just help us keep the body a little thinner. Once that's tied down, bring your thread back up and you can trim the butt ends. And then clean that up if you need to. And then for the main chenille, we're going to be using this gold tinsel chenille. Just going to grab a piece of that and tie it in, again at the head to the tail. Then bring your thread back up to the head. Now we're just going to wrap that gold chenille. Just nice even wraps. Make sure each wrap is pressed right against the last. And it helps if you pull the fibers from the previous wraps back each wrap. And that'll help you take full advantage of those fibers. If they're not trapped down, you can utilize them better. And then we're just going to keep turning that up to the head. Once you get it up to the head, you can secure that down nice and tight. Get a good wrap in front of the chenille, and then clip that off. And now we're going to take this other chenille, which is going to be our back, and we're just going to give that a few twists. This will just make it thicker so that it'll be a nice prevalent back. And we're going to stretch that along the top and just tie it in right in line with the top with the black paint. Make sure it's nice and straight, and once you've got it where you want it, tie it down nice and tight. Again, get a wrap in front of the chenille, and then you can clip that off. And now we're going to whip finish. Just keep the whip finish turns pressed against the head. Pull the thread tight, and clip it off. So there you have it. This is a nice realistic golden shiner pattern with a little bit of orange underneath added to attract those fish. Pretty much any predatory fish will bite this. You can catch crappie, 
panfish, bass, walleye, anything that eats a shiner will love it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.